Yeah, okay. Now, after I've written SF6, all right, uh, you look here, you can see sulfur is going to be the central atom. Now, the key here, we'll do valence really quick. Sulfur's got six. Fluorine has seven, and you've got six fluorines, so that's going to add up to 48. All right, let's do the math. It's 48. Now, the one thing you're obviously like, what's the problem here? I mean, you're only usually used to having four sides, yet there are six fluorines. So the way this will work, the way it's going to work is simply draw a Lewis structure, draw the skeleton structure the only way you know how. Just connect all six fluorines to sulfur. I don't really care the exact arrangement you do it in. Okay, just do it. So you connect all six of them. Now, you just put in 2, 4, 6, 8, 12 electrons. So you subtract 12. 36 are left. Now, you got six fluorines. Each one has spots for six electrons. So you got 36 to put in. Well, that's it, but this is the easy one, truthfully. Eventually, I mean, truly, you don't need to be putting the dots in anymore. I think we're a little bit past this now, but just to show you, I will do it. Because we assume in a Lewis structure from here on out that there are electrons around the outer elements, just to make it easier for us. So, right there. All right, we got zero electrons left. Now, how many electron domains are around that one? You can count there's six domains. All right, are they all shared pairs? Yes. They're all six shared. So if you look at your little chart here, six domains, six are shared, zero are unshared. It is what we would call an octahedral molecule. Now, that one's not too bad. So wait, Mr. How can you have unshared? Here? There are, there are no unshared. Well, you just look. I mean, 2, 4, 6, 8, 12, they're all, everything that's attached to sulfur is bonded. All right? Now, non-bonding. Yeah. Non-bonding is the, the non share. Now, this part, the next one, this one's a little tricky. So let's look at this molecule. All right, xenon difluoride. What's the first problem? What, like, what do you see? You've never seen xenon bonded before, right? Yeah, it's, it's, a gas. it's a noble yeah, gas. It's a noble gas. Noble gas, yeah. So, so it normally it doesn't bond, but it can form compounds rarely, but it does. So what we've got to look at here is say, well, central atom, what is it? Xenon. xenon. Now let's do uh, valence really quick. You've got 8 plus 7 times 2, which gives you, what is that, 22? Yeah. So you got 22. Now, just do what you always do, connect them, fill in your electrons around fluorine, and how many did we put in, 2, 4, 6, 8, 16? I know, so, so you've got 6 left. So now you're going to fill up xenon. Now I'm just going to tell you, you can look right here, obviously there's 6 electrons left, xenon has only got spots for 4 of them, right? But here's the thing. The central atom can hold more than eight electrons, and it does in this case. If you've got six left, put six on the central atom. Don't worry about double bonds. Don't worry about anything. Just fill it in. Is this considered um, uh, non-bonding? These would be non-bonding pairs. So you're going to go, and the way, it, just to show you how it's easier to draw, I do it like this, where you kind of put two up there, and then you put a couple down there. All right? And the way that actually... What? How do you know you're not supposed to put double bonds? The, re the way you know you're not supposed to put double bonds, this is a good question. The way you know is because you had electrons left over. The only time you put double or triple bonds is when you don't have electrons All right. left over. All right? So since you had six left over, you know you can fill those in. Don't worry about double bonds. Wait, so is that three on shelves? Yeah. Yeah. So, no, no, no. Oh, okay. Now, if you look here... How many domains are on the central atom? One, two, three, four, five domains. Yep. Now, the key here, by the way, is that something I forgot to say, is that the central atom is the only thing that can violate the octet rule. 
The outer atoms will not. So fluorine, could, you couldn't do a double bond as well there because it can never have more than eight electrons in this case. So five domains, how many are shared? Two, two shared. And then you've got one, two, three unshared. So yeah, you actually look here, and if you figure it out, you've got, you got two shared, three unshared. It turns out to be linear. And believe it or not, that actually makes a straight line. Because the way it works, you'll sort of have, I'm not going to bother drawing out because it would look really bad. But the electrons will cancel out, and you'll have basically a nice straight molecule. Yeah.